forget about dsa forget about lead code today i'll be talking about what 90% of the candidates lag and why they are getting rejected because of these basic things that I, they need to uh, much more focus upon if they are appearing for any sort of data interviews so i'll be talking about those things because i am a data engineer i have been working in this field uh, for about 4. more than 4.5 years and uh, also i am a data work certified data engineer working as a senior remote data engineer and I'll be discussing about and clearing of many of the myths many of the things that exactly needs to be done and how to clear these interviews i'll be segregating these parts into different different things and uh, what exactly is needed because there is a shift of the things ha that has happened so let's talk about that so basically whenever you are talking about any sort of any sort of technology firstly i'll be segregating of uh, what exactly is needed or, and what is a shift that has came so basically when you uh, you might have heard about that many companies and many things that are happening like when, whenever you appear for an interview like you are going for this person is there and he or she is going for the interview here okay so basically how the things have changed so now this person doesn't be like very much perfect or very much aware about the syntax like that is the main thing that syntax line by line is not like that you should be very much confident or very much aware or very rigid about these things the main thing that is the approach and what are the things like suppose i am giving you some sort of uh, requirements how you will say, uh, how we will perform these things and how you will uh, perform the task set of task or the chain of the things that you will be performing and after this how i will be getting my business use case that is very very important so those things are much more tested so let's talk about in much more deep detail if you are a fresher if you are a person who is just entering into this market by particular particular technology what all things are much more important to focus upon so let's start with so firstly the major thing that is s ql this is a technology that is a must if you are not aware of this technology or you are not very much confident about this particular technology it is a very big red flag for you and for the interview will mark you as a rejected candidate so if you don't want to be rejected this is one of the technology that is very very important and very much underestimated because people think that we are done with sql we are done with sql there are so much of things in the sql you need to segregate you need to find out what all to list out there are are joints you should be aware and very much confident about the joints joints is very very important other than that it is very very uh, famous topic for data domain interviews that is windows function windows function is one of the uh, tech stack uh, not a tech stack a techno uh, a topic that is very very important you should be aware of ki how exactly the ranks works how exactly the lead lag is working how exactly the first the last value these kind of uh, functions are working so you should be aware of those things and it helps you to optimize uh, your particular things other than that aggregations aggregations are very very important ki how to aggregate aggregated functions also we talk about we talked about aggregations we talk about very uh, there are many optimization techniques that are very very important like indexes cts uh, other than that uh, sub queries and all how to uh, like many times in interviews people ask uh, sub queries versus sub queries versus what joins what is much more uh, uh, good or what what we should use more so basically th there are many set of answer depends on the requirements to requirement those all things are important also how you will if you a, a set of csv file is given so how you will optimize if the uh, like number of joins are there number of uh, uh, things are there so how you will um, optimize what all things you will keep in the mind what are the guidelines you will give to the team so this is how these things work like basically this is the importance of these part other than that how you will be suppose a question suppose a coding round is there and there a question is given so if you are not able to solve it 100% you should be aware of how you will approach that question that is also very very important ki exactly what is the idea behind the things and what is the approach you will be following how exactly you will be doing those things so that is how it works basically that is the main part of the sequel other than that there are many many topics many many things that we are talking about and there should be like basically if you talk 
talk about uh, indexes if we talk about any sort of stored procedures if we talk about cts in cts also many parts are there in stored procedure also different types of stored procedures are there you should be aware of those things if you want to learn everything in data engineering from scratch from zero i have been doing this bootcamp data x bootcamp the link is in the description or coupon code also i have given especially for our youtube family you can use that directly and get enrolled and you can get into the community where you can talk about the things if you have any doubts you can reach out directly that is the best part of this particular bootcamp you can reach out to me directly on the whatsapp there is a community you can reach out on the groups so if you want to get into that direct link is in the description of the bootcamp directly you can enroll if you don't know anything about the coding if you don't uh, if you are not aware anything about the data engineering i will guide you through that bootcamp from the scratch from the zero uh, like we'll cover everything so that, that is that part coming to back to the uh, like sql is already done you have completed a sql now comes the next thing that is python it is a core of everything that is how you will automate the things how practical use and it is very very important to know the practical use case practical use cases are very very important if you are going through any sort of interviews any sort of interviews more sort of problem solving questions will be there problem solving questions what are problem solving questions that are suppose there is a business use case that is given to me basically how i will sort that it will be not given ki, you have to use a list you have to use a dictionary it is not given to you because this is how the real problems will be you will be giving a pro given a problem by by the business you need to figure out what all sort of tech uh, technologies what all sort of uh, like basically uh, topics or basically how you will segregate those things what all sort of logics you will use how you will make that script and all how will automate that so that it will be much more faster this is how the things are done that is very very important other than that if we talk about a specific topic that is file handling is very very important file handling it is one of the topic that is very very important because most of the times whenever you are working in a data domain Domain, different sort of files like it can be parquet file it can be avro it can be json file it can be xml it can, it can be csvs tsvs any sort of files can be given to you and you have to like handle those kind of files that sort that those all things will come inside file handling many times we talk about pandas also for data cleaning and all for file handling for many sort of things so it is a one of the use case of python basically a framework of python a library of python to be more specific that is very very important so you should be aware of that thing also other than that how exactly you will be automating like automation scripts automation scripts are very very important like for this string uh, uh, manipulation you should be aware about you should be aware about list you should be aware of dictionary you should be aware of set tuple all those sort of thing classes to make the things much more reusable functions and all to make the things much more real reusable much more cleaner i am talking on the business use cases on the project specific mindset what all sort of things you should focus upon when you are going in the interviews okay this is much more detailed things that and how you will be writing a clean code writing a clean code is very very important clean writing of code clean writing is very very important important because whenever you will go for the interviews there you have to talk about different segregations there will be some sort of production level things how you will be curating like dividing these things into chunks so that it will much more it will be much more cleaner and easy to understand by everyone because you are just not writing the code for yourself you are writing the code for the team you are writing the code if you go uh, from this team to another team another person is coming into your team or another person is coming to this particular group so so he can understand about those things that is very very important this is how you think about this is how the thinking has to be done okay so you have to sort those things this is uh, you, these things can be learned via chat gpt definitely the best use cases and all other than that after doing these all thing debugging how you will debug the errors and all how you will if these problems are coming that debugging of the logic debugging of the logic how it is done and if an error is coming here how you will debug and come to know basically that the use case or the problem is this one and how you will solve that that is also very very important these are the main main use cases that i am talking about other than that if I, if you have completed the uh, like uh, pi spark uh, sorry uh, python pandas these all things now next use case that will come to your uh, this one that is very very important for data interviews just specifically for data engineers that is pi is spark 
many times we call it as spark api python spark api because pyspark is just a api built on top of uh, spark to so that you can write your code in python and directly it can be converted via that api only uh, using uh, like the converted into scala because spark is written in scala so if you want to learn these all details of the things how spark works how it is stores everything and details of everything from the scratch from the zero we have a boot can just reach out there okay uh, a support number is also given you can uh, use that also other than that if you are talking about spark basically memory management very very important on the interview point of view memory management of spark how are the optimization techniques optimization okay architecture 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 of a spark very very important these are very very important things if you understand these things it will be easy for you to explain in the interviews how we will optimize those sort of lazy evaluation those sort of uh, if you talk about any sort of uh, broadcast join the partition colesk uh, salting these kind of techniques you will be able to answer easily because you are understanding these all things memory management is one of the core thing if you understand the memory memory management you will be understanding how where program will fail when a spark job fails will out of memory what exactly needs to be done so these are the things very very important to understand stand if we talk about uh, a specific use case a transformation okay transformations udfs then data frames theek hai dfs and all these all things you need to be aware about then we talk about lazy evaluation these are the matlab very very important things whenever you are going for any sort of interviews performance bottleneck if you are getting skewness you are getting in the data frame how you will sort all those things this is how things happen and suppose you are going for a like about Three years of experience, four years of experience, person. Because I take interviews for seven years of experience, uh, per person also. The type of the questions differs. Okay, so this is how you need to think about. Other than that, at the last, I'll say debugging and communication skills are very very important. If you are not able to explain or if you are not able to tell basically the people that exactly how the things will go off or how exactly you will explain those sort of those sort of things, this is very very important. If we talk about communication skills, okay. if you are if you are knowing about everything and you are not able to explain the things that is the biggest problem you need to be aware and you need to practice about the things for the communication skills you need to speak a lot try to record yourself it is very very important and this is the best key that has helped me and definitely it will help you also you will be confident enough in the interviews because you if you know about the things definitely you can explain those things if you have a good communication skills also debugging if a pipeline is failing what exactly you need to do if this is the error what exactly needs to be done these all sort of use cases business problems and these all things will be important whenever you are going for these interviews okay and what i don't care if i take a interview of a person what i don't care exactly how much level of dsa dsa is not firstly it is very very important also uh, it is, i am not saying ki dsa padho hi mat not required no i am saying that for data interviews specifically for data engineers as of now hardcore dsa you should not focus more 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 upon you should not invest your most of the time on dsa try to uh, focus more on the data solutions data solution business problems how to curate those all things this is how things work okay D dsa is important definitely important but don't invest the time too much on this it is very 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 important to understand that point other than that i have seen many resumes people just add fancy uh, ml topics ai topics these all things not required here if you are going for a data engineer why ml will be required in the start if you are going for data analyst i have seen people adding ml and ai skills uh, like ai gen ai is good but adding the ml algo, uh, ml skills in the data analytics one not required as of now okay try to be much more good in the data analytics part then switch to this one i am not saying ki ha don't learn these things i am saying try to be much more perfect in the core skills than try to extra uh, like add those skills after that okay this is how it works buzzwords okay just running behind the buzzword don't do that make the project that is much more simple and much more fundamental and solves the business use case end to end end to end that is very very important if you are not able to solve the business problems end to end that is the red flag for you okay so these were the top uh, things that i just uh, wanted to share with you and uh, these are things that definitely uh, you have to keep in the mind whenever you are going for the interviews data x boot camp i have already told about if you want to get enrolled there is a link in the description use that get benefited definitely so many people are there about 300 people have joined already definitely you can also take that advantage and get into this boot camp thank you so much next video milte hain bye bye jai hind vande mataram